Live from CW31, this is Good Day Sacramento in HD. Plus, keep your feet from suffering in your mall adventures. We have professional help for you this hour. Also, we're going to stop shoppers and give them some comfy footwear options with the help of a, a, a professional. But I have next. <laughs> Uh, from the uh, far end of the parking lot into the mall, then there's the line after the line after the line. Sounds like the perfect recipe for sore feet. Doing a lot of walking today. That's why we brought in a professional health and body scientist named Katie Bowman. She's scanning the crowds, trying to help those Black Friday feet. Are you seeing some people in sneakers or more heels today? I'm really surprised to see a lot of sensible shoes today. Um, I, like I said before, I, we've seen some slippers, but for the most part, we've got nice, flat, flexible soles, some athletic shoes. Everything looks pretty good. The gentleman here has got nice, sensible shoes on. Good for you. Made in Texas. Um, so I'm pretty pleased. But I have seen some really high-heeled boots today, Crazy. like three to four inches. Oh, I would not want to be you with that high heel hangover tomorrow. What about the Uggs? Are Uggs, generally speaking, good for the feet or not? Well, they don't really have very much support. They keep your feet warm, you know, so there's always good things in every footwear choice, but they don't really have a lot of support to the foot. And if you're going to be walking close to a marathon between Black Friday and Christmas Eve, you want to make sure that you're picking really good footwear. All right. Now, what about, let's say you make the mistake and you wear the high heels and you're, you're walking 10 or 12 miles today. What's your, what's your solution for people who just get the, you know, uh, pain in the foot? Um, I have two solutions. One of them are these toe spacers that you can pick up at your local pedicure. You can even get them at a drugstore for less than a dollar because your traditional tight, uh, tight foot box footwear will smash your toes together. So this is really inexpensive oh, solution. Nice. Take off your shoes, cool. pop them between your toes, yeah, and, and fix that out. And then there's also um, corrective foot programs. I have a restorative exercise for foot pain, which is a really nice way to kind of treat your feet. Now we've got Sharon here. And we grab Sharon because Sharon, like most women, don't really think of this foot here as a high-heeled shoe. They think of it more as a wedge, but it's actually huh. a little bit over a two-inch heel. So, Sharon, what made you pick that shoe out today? Because it's got a low heel. <laughs> it's got a low heel. Sharon, but... do you have five-inch heels in your closet? No, I really don't. I, these, to me, are high, but they're not... Not too high. Yeah, so they're low considering what's out there. What's out there is really high. So Sharon, like most women, picked out their lower heeled shoes today, thinking that it was a better choice, and it is in a three inch or five yeah. inch heel. But let me show you here's a skeleton. This is a six foot tall mock up of a skeleton with just one inch underneath its heel. And you can see the amount of total torque on the whole entire body as you pan up here. Look how far forward it puts your skeleton, which means you have to arch your back, slightly bend your knees, or even tuck your pelvis over to get your body upright. So you end up masking kind of the damage that yeah. this shoe does. But we've got her in some nice negative heeled footwear now, and how do they feel? I feel almost like I'm standing backwards, you know, leaning backwards. Right, but the good thing about... Good. Yeah, they feel good? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And how far are you going to walk today? Oh, a few miles. Yeah, she's yeah. going to do a few mall miles. Yikes. So we got her in a, a shoe that burns a lot more calories that way because she's using a lot more muscle. All right, Katie. Well, listen, great advice, and uh, you know, this is a great thing about you know being a guy, right, Mark? That we don't have to, we don't have to really worry. With the about exception that. of Nick Tomo, on Saturdays he tends to go for the wedge <laughs> as opposed to today. It's a health and body scientist, Katie Bowman. She is a scan in the crowds today, looking to make sure people are wearing the right stuff. Thanks, Katie. Nice Good job. Stuff. What hey, about the stilettos? Do you still bust those out from time no, to time? No, not necessarily, no. Oh, okay. No, no more costume parties like that for me. The deals are not gone yet. We're all over the...